A film in three minutes. Tremors. Welcome to Perfection Nevada, where dreams come true. We've got everything a strapping young fella could need to start a new life. Great views, friendly neighbors, hell, we've even got ourselves a convenience store. And as for the wildlife, you can't beat our most beloved attraction. Giant, killer, graboids that are actually incredibly dangerous, utterly ruthless, and probably should be avoided at all costs. Oh, and best not to make any vibrations from this point on, otherwise you might become their next target. It, which is exactly what Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward have to contend with in Ron Underwood's superb 1990 horror comedy Tremors. A film that delights as much as it scares, features an excellent premise, a roster of quirky character actors, and set piece after set piece of low budget cinema charm. Originally titled Land Sharks, the story's development began when screenwriters S.S. Wilson and Brent Maddock were working for the US Navy shooting footage on a boulder in the California desert and then asking themselves the question, what if there was something that wouldn't let us off this rock? A the floor is lava type scenario that inspired both writers to approach friend and director Ron Underwood after the pair sold their first script, 1986's Short Circuit. Underwood, who had experience shooting documentaries for National Geographic, helped to redesign the subterraneous monsters to make them more realistic, turning them into the film's now iconic graboids, ancient giant worms designed by the special effects company Amalgamated Dynamics, founded by industry legends Stan Winston, Tom Woodruff Jr. and Alec Gillis, whose clever use of miniature models and advanced puppetry helped bring the menacing creatures to life and provide much of the film's slapstick comedy. Kevin Bacon, who only agreed to accept the role of down-on-his-luck handyman Valentine McKee due to his then-recent marriage and upcoming newborn child, suffered a nervous breakdown prior to the film's release, believing it was a career killer, a view that was strengthened due to Tremors' poor box office receipts. However, in the years since its theatrical release, Tremors would unearth newfound fans thanks to excellent sales on home video and DVD, eventually tripling its original box office gross and leading to seven sequels and counting, a television series and video games, which in turn has made Tremors Bacon's favourite film of his career, and the only one he re-watches with fans. Once you see it for yourself, you'll understand why, as it's nigh on impossible not to find the cinematic terrain Tremors inhabits utterly charming. From its lovable supporting characters, clever setups and payoffs, animatronics, and at times beautiful cinematography, oh, and one of the best uses of a rec room ever shot on celluloid. Still don't believe me? Well then maybe you should pay a visit to perfection and see for yourself. Just watch your step. The ground isn't all what it seems these days. 